Suarez here today? No, no. He okay. never comes to Seattle. He's in Long Island. That's a long trip. It is a long. Well, I mean, we got Jersey showing up here and right now they're I know. I don't know why they're here. Jersey Yo. is infinitely closer than Long Island. Yeah, yeah, I know. Honestly, true, like, but North Jersey at least. Right, so no, yeah, North Jersey. So Dill versus the Veebs. Yep. Um, so I haven't seen VV play too much against uh, Dylan the like, but this seems like it wouldn't be too bad of a matchup. The one thing is that the player match, VV I know likes to play bait and punish, which is not going to work so well against Dill's Rob. He loves to sit back, set up his setups, and just confirm, because Dill's got those down pat at this point. Right, remember when Dill was playing Diddy Kong in the beginning of Ultimate? I do. Refused to play Rob, his try and true love from Brawl. <laughs> he just couldn't accept that he was actually good again. And now, it's just like, he's home. <laughs> Rob's home, baby. And now Dill's playing with this character again and again, making a name for himself, but uh, honestly might get ninth today if Vivi keeps playing the way he's doing. But, because right now, if you look at the numbers, who's yes. winning right now? Uh, technically, they're both at a really dangerous percent because yeah. it is Lucario. Dill's at kill percent. That's all yep. you need to know. Never mind. Yep. He's no longer at kill percent. Because my boy Lucario has aura. Yes. Lucario's got aura. Lucario's got hype meter, the comeback mechanic, whatever you would like to call it. Yeah. Uh, it's a super strong tool. And I know uh, this was pre patch before they fixed a lot of Lucario stuff because he got buffed recently. Um, but V was talking about how that's arguably one of his better traits now, how a lot of stuff had changed about him and that aura was the only thing keeping him relevant. But now, I'm wondering if that's still the case, or at least in his opinion. Yo, that was a really slick item catch, by the way. Faking out with the aura spheres. The problem with that is that it's really easy to swipe out the air if you're Rob. All right. It's with the Nair, chases with laser, chases with top. Just throw the whole kitchen sink at him, really. I mean, he's, he's doing a fantastic job with that gyro and then just trapped him completely. That's the one downside to Lucario's up B, is that he is completely vulnerable during that for Lucar Rob to just do whatever he wants. And you, rotor. you saw VV2 trying to delay as much as possible because he knew what was coming, but the only options there are a mix up of I'm going to use it immediately and pray that he's not using arm rotor already. And did or... you just see that shield pressure just now? My man was poking him <laughs> with those down tilts, with those forward tilts, spacing away so that VV really couldn't do anything out of shield to get that punish. Those down tilts are safe. VV jumping right at Dill. Dill has a response. Arm rotor coming out once more, wants oh, to get the back here. My man's about to three stock VV. Hold on a tick. Now remember, he's got aura, so I wouldn't say three stock is guaranteed. Oh, VV looking a little smooth right there. Bet you want, you want to take bets right now? Uh, twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. I don't Dill's know. Gonna, I don't Dill's know. Dill's gonna three stock him. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. I don't have twenty shake bucks. Shake my though, hand. Me. Okay, whatever. Okay, I'll shake your hand. Sure. All right, there we go. Twenty bucks. I think VV's gonna pull some Lucario nonsense. Here we go. We got a bet on the tapes. Oh. Oh. Let's go, Dill. Yeah. Maybe that twenty dollars, baby. Yo, let's go, VV. Our rotor! Yo, Yo what? That, That's still set that Put way. that in my hand. Put that in my hand. 20 <laughs> bucks right now. I need $20. Hey, okay, hold on. I got five. Give me $20. I'll, I'll, I'll you owe me 15. You. I'll, I'll down pay you right Free. now. Free. Here you go. There we go. There we go. Money. Devin, can we get, I can need, we get a camera on this real quick? I ain't eating pizza tonight. I ain't eating pizza tonight, yo. He's owing me 15 later on. I'm that going hungry. My, that is my cash. <laughs> I'm taking that home. I'm taking that to the bank. Yo. I'm going to go double or nothing. I'll three-stock him again. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, no. I don't want to either. I don't believe it will. I think, I think actually, if you actually, if you ask me, yes. game two, VV's going to win. You think so? I, th I think VV's going to pull some protagonist bull crap. And, yo, uh, look, he's, he's doing the... He's doing, the, he's doing the anime boy right now. Yes. He's focusing his energy. 1,000%. 3,000%. 3,000? How's 3,000? Was what you're watching right now. Here we go. Pokemon Stadium 2. Game yep. 2. Game 2. Uh, still looking to send it to stock 2. No, so to me, it looked like VV just was uh, getting hit by random crap. I uh, felt like he was never in control of the neutral, never really in control of the stage. Every single time he was off stage, he got hit at least five times. Like, man, he just could not find center stage. See, the problem, right, is that Dill likes to toss out a lot of stuff. Lasers and arm rotors and tops, gyros, whatever you would like to call them. Uh, and Lucario, despite the fact that he's, what would you call him, a monk, a ninja, etc., um, he can only dodge so much. I call him a Pokemon. Pokemon? That's true. He is a Pokemon. Although, that's weird, because he, he's got that, like, legendary status, and he's weird because he can talk, but I, I'm not going to get into that. Isn't that just the anime? It might just be the anime. Nice back air. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm clocking out. Yep, that's Playing it. Playing out for commentary. There it is. GG, guys. Good night. We're doing Smash commentary <laughs> in the movie. Woo, he Ooh. challenged that. Hello. 
was that that didn't beat out get up attack, did it? That was a that, neutral. That was ledge jump. That was ledge that, jump. Oh, okay, that yeah. was ledge jump. I was I'm pretty say, sure that was ledge jump. That animation looked like ledge attack, and I was baffled for a moment. Right. Yeah, because when you do ledge attack, there's like invincibility in the start. Yeah, so until, like, until it beats the out a lot out. of things. Yeah, absolutely. All right. I like to think of ledge oh, attack as like the wake up DP. Ah, uh, kind of. Except the reward isn't too great. Yeah, the reward. But the reward is you escape the corner. Yeah, I mean that's still pretty good. That's a good thing to have in this game, honestly. The corner is yeah. turning out to be very strong as this meta develops. We've got ourselves a way more even match going on this yep. game around compared to the first one. So you saw Vivi there. Um, I know you talked about um, Lucario's upbeat not having a hitbox, but when it lands, it actually does a splash hitbox, a lot like Inklings. You saw Vivi try to anticipate Dill's aggression there and land it in front of him, but nearly got himself punished for it. There we go. Okay. Hey, I mean, he, had, he had the gyro for a second there. I don't think Lucario could get too much off of that. Mostly just wants to hold on to it, just to prevent Dill from being able to use it, which is a very valid strategy against Rob. Mm -hmm. Denying the tools that Rob has is a very strong option. And Dill's so chase. tricky with his recall. Okay, That's good. a big punish, yep. What an answer from BB. You know, he actually just respected it. Holding shield, gonna be able to just, you know, wait that out. Go for the side B, and you saw that classic zoom in. Looking anime as hell. Absolutely. Just you know, pr I think, proving again that he's the protagonist. You know, I think he's going to pull it out. Because remember, um, he's voiced by the voice of Goku. So if anyone's going to be an anime protagonist. Oh, yeah. And he does a Kamehameha for it. Well, he's not, he doesn't have any final smashes now. But he can pull out the spirit bomb right now. He's charging it. He's got it ready. He's sitting on a decent amount of aura. That actually kind of hurts his combo game a little bit, if I'm not mistaken. But let's see how it plays out. Now he's sitting 129, trying to find his opening. I like that little uh, little bait. He landed la right in front of him with that nair, rolled away to avoid said grab, and he's he he's playing he's playing with this food a bit. He's trying he's trying to figure out what Dill wants to do because you see him jumping in, weaving in and out, going for a double jump instead of actually committing, yes. just to see what Dill's answer is while he jumps in. Is he gonna attack? Is he gonna grab? He waits for that moment to actually strike right there again. You saw him coming in. And Dill wants the grab. He knows if Dill. That, that's a stock confirm. That's like how he wins. If he gets a grab, he gets the kill. Oh, yo, that beat him out. That was actually mad smart. Okay, so he upbeat, hit the stage to get the hitbox out, beats out the arm motor, and then he moved over to the ledge. That was actually 500 IQ. That was legitimately super smart. Okay, good air dodge to the left to prevent that up smash because Dill was fiending for an air dodge to the right. Mm -hmm. Sitting at 180%. You Dill's at kill see. percent. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Honestly... Look, a side B, if he got him like close to the ledge like this, he's absolutely I dead. Think a kill Yo, that beat out Horus Sphere. Oh, Ooh. there he goes. He had to defuse that if he even stood a chance of winning this game. And now, things are back in Dill's favor. Even though he's down a couple percents, that doesn't really matter. It's, it's, as long as your Titan stocks with Lucario, it doesn't matter what the percents say, it is even. See, here's the thing, though. It's that once that damage starts going up, as Dill works his way back, he's also working his way back into disadvantage because Aura is such a strong comeback tool. Uh, and stray hits will do a lot for Lucario. It's hard to get stray hits Counter? on Rob, especially. Yeah, a little bit of a hard read on that one. Normally, Vivi likes to go for the movement, but sometimes you got to toss that stuff in. It's a shame it didn't work out oh. there. Jab reset off the down tilt. Yeah, got the, got the little down Looking tilt Looking for a setup, catches him off of that. That was really smart. Nah, this yeah, is Smash 4. And right there, like I mean, that. the reason he was doing that is because he went for the back air right afterwards to try to catch that jump out of shield. Yo, what? And the counter works, and what did I tell you? I am two for two. You're damn right. Vivi was going to win game two. I told you. That's the storyline. I'm, I'm, I'm hella lucky that I didn't put money up on this I one. think Dill's going to win the set, though. Uh, but it'll yes, be mad close. I it'll be that. mad close. Sorry, I, I'm literally just spoiling the script for everyone. I, I feel like maybe I should just hide it. Well, let's hide, see. The, hide the books, hide the tapes. Yeah. Well, uh... You know, is it really is it really a script? If we if we tell people, maybe we're we're lying on script right now, and that's part of the script. You just confused the crap out of me. What? Yeah. So what if the script says us to lie about what the script actually says? What if Vivi wins, and that that's what the script says, but we're saying the script says. So you're saying that the script says that we're lying, but we're not supposed to be lying the yeah, because the script told us that we're lying. So, so, so that way we don't. The script because that way that it's lying. That way we don't reveal the script by revealing what the script One, isn't. Go. <laughs> Game three. What? <laughs> <laughs> you see, you, you guys will find out when we publish the movie. It's all right. Going into game three, uh, so counterpick to Town and City for this one. Uh, I'd say this is pretty self-explanatory. Rob wants the earlier kills off the side, and he does not want to deal with Lucario Aura, which is a very fair choice. Uh, also, can't kill him off the top as easy. Right. You're going to be able to have that uh, little, uh, you know, blast zone different, different shield there. Already has him at 79%. Oh, gets him off 
catches the jump. Nice. Nair's going to be a really good tool for Rob to be able to just go that catching a, does a mass amounts of damage, sends him flying high. 127%, he's looking for the down air, trying to call out when he's going to time that up B, but BB can literally has all the time in the world before going for that. Dill has to, like, guess. Yes. Because the, the down air has start startup on it. Yep. Not only that, um, up B gets more damage on it and moves faster the more uh, damage is accrued from Lucario. So the higher he hits him, the wider the percent or rather, wider the window is for him to try to guess that. So it's harder for him to get. But talk about how lucky Dill was right there. That gyro was sitting spinning on the left, so it gave him a free roll to the left. There was nothing BB could have done. <laughs> All right. Rolls back. Trying to chase a little bit with laser. VV just gets to sort of charge Aura Sphere right now. Well, thing is, uh, VV's playing against a projectile user. He's mm -hmm. throwing everything in the kitchen sink at him, but he's just, so all he needs to do is just shield, and he, and he keeps getting the charge. He, they're playing at a distance. Oh, he's the one trace. winning. Yes. Because he's the one powering up his attack. Absolutely. Uh, if he can find a straight hit on this one, he could probably please out this. Ooh. Oh, that's really scary to go for. Air dodging Extremely directly. Extremely risky air dodge. Yes. It paid uh, off for him. It does pay off. Scary spot to be in. Rolls out of that. Trying to catch something. Trade. What a trade! And they're both going to get back to of stage. Neither died. What? Throws it again. Applies some shield pressure. Not too much, surprisingly. I saw a shield uh, barely go anywhere. No. Um. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, Rob's shield pressure. Yes. Uh, especially after uh, the nerfed projectile shield damage. I can dead. <laughs> Just get the stocks out. We, we want clean stocks. Just here. give me those. No gra aura. Get the grabs. These grab characters out of here. Second stock a piece. Let's yeah. go. Again, remember, loser this goes home with ninth place. That means you know what that means, Gretch? Yes. That means we're not getting out of here until 2 a.m. Yeah, it Eastern. means we're, we're we're gonna be here for a long time. But uh alright. But more importantly, I honestly think Vivi does have a decent chance of pulling this through here. He's been playing really well, he's been playing very patient, but it'll all depend. I think this stock will be really important. If Dill can close this out before he can make use of Lucario's aura, I think that'll be good. If we'll he had to jump out of there, you saw his shield starting to dwindle from the down tilts. Eventually, Dill can start poking with the down tilt. Yep. And Rob gets a lot off of down tilt. It's able to combo. You can actually combo into down tilt and you just kind of carry them across the stage. It also yes. leads into the jab lock situation. You manage to poke him. Yep. It trips Ooh. just like it did just right there. BB yes. at 82%. And see, the responses to that are pretty limited, and you can always be punished for it, right? And that, speaking of the shield pressure, you saw that back air. His shield poked him. It, po it pocked his... Uh, Pot. It Ooh. poked his head. Pokey pot. Yeah, pokey poke, pipes. Poke, 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 pokey pokey his, his empty <laughs> spot on the head. There we go. 99%. Yep. And it, you know, the fact that Dill's looking for these back airs is yes. showing that he wants to end the stock immediately before he even gets the opportunity to build that strong, dementing aura. He's already got a decent amount right now, honestly. I know it's sort of hard to land the command grab, but that's death. No, it's not death. Yo, the DI. Very nice. You thought. Yeah, you, I you did thought. Think. Yo, he what? The reflector! Back. The reflector! Yo, Yo why take does it that... back. He doesn't want it. He doesn't why? want it. He doesn't want it. Why does Arm Rotor legit have a reflector on it? Real talk. Why? Dude, <laughs> got, he's spinning a pizza. It's a pizza pie. You, yeah. send, you, send, <laughs> you, send, you send it back. I don't know. The, <laughs> You see, what kind of pizza places are you going to where you get a ball of dough? It's like, whoa, whoa, I can't, I can't, I gotta get the pizza away from me. Let me spin it. Romano's? Yo. <laughs> there we go, 86. Forward air, forward yep. air. Things are starting this to is, crumble for BB. It's looking pretty dangerous here. Waits as long as he can for that upbeat. That's a good option out of shield. Down air uh, actually fully connects now, or usually does, thanks to the patch. Okay, Rob's He's chilling. Wait it out. He's gonna, yep. I was waiting for it. Dill always does that, and no one capitalizes. There we go. VV got it. Yep. Got the kill. Yo, this is really close. VV looking pretty good right 24, now. 24, 33, Vivi 45. Really what in the world? That was three hits. All right. Dill chasing. Tries to catch that top there, but hits it back with the disjoint on the aura. That's okay. kind of crazy. Can, oh. with the neutral air, Can he mash? Grab. Can he mash? Goes for the up tilt into the up no, air conversion. Yeah. Dill closing it out. He didn't even want to try to get the up smash afterwards because you know BB could have mashed out. Yes. So he opted to go for the safer saw, option. Look, look, the up you tilt. see him, or uh, um, he was as soon as he got grabbed, he knew it was like, all right, Dead. let's go, and let's then, go. This is for then, my whole life right and here. Then, and then. Yes. And then you don't even have to go to the next replay because it's right here. Yes. It's just dead. Good night. Bah! Oh, body <laughs> slam. WWE. Yeah. Coming at you live. Up air. Bingo. Bingo bango. Yep. Didn't actually kill though. It was a fake out. Yep. And Yo, he sent that, it right back that, at him, So man. what's the really jank about that, arm he was facing the other way. That's what's really jank about that. He's like, man, I don't even look at you to kill you. I'm going to I'm gonna toss this pizza behind my hands. Yeah. All right. I'm telling you, Romano's, man. All right. They make some good pizza. New York City so look pizza's at this. Look good. at it. As soon as he got grabbed, he was like, yo, that's it. 
you know. What are your thoughts on Chicago pizza? Uh, I don't know that I've ever had legit Chicago pizza.